We're here at Southwest Arkansas's Crater of Diamonds State Park to see what the diamonds look like that have been found here recently. On Sunday, June 16th, the Murfreesboro, Arkansas guest registered a 21-point white diamond. Look at that 2.95 carat brown, seven-year-old girl found last September 1st on her seventh birthday. Aspen Brown is her name from Paragool, Arkansas. On Sunday, June 16th, the floor, uh, Orlando, Florida guest registered a 38-point brown. There it is. Look at that 38-point brown. That is gorgeous. That is perfect color, the shape, the clarity, that is a gorgeous diamond. I love it. On Monday, June 17th, a Monrovia, Maryland guest registered a five-point white diamond. Now, if you're wondering about points, there are a hundred points of weight per carat. So, a five-point is one-twentieth of a carat. On Tuesday, June 18th, a Seattle, Washington guest registered a 42-point white diamond. Boy, they came a long way. Look at that 42 point white. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, wow. That's lovely. On Tuesday, June 18th, a Lone Oak, Arkansas guest, Jeff Peake, registered a four point white diamond. That's 125th of a carat. On Tuesday, June 18th, a Derrick, Arkansas guest, registered a five point white diamond. That's Scott Krakus. Congratulations on another diamond find, Scott. On Tuesday, June 18th, a Lone Oak, Arkansas guest, Jeff Peake, registered a 15-point white diamond. Very good, Jeff. Another, another diamond find. Look at that 3.29 carat BUD diamond. David Anderson found it. On Wednesday, June 19th, Jeff Peake of Lone Oak, Arkansas, registered a 48-point white diamond. That's almost a half carat. I've got photos of those three diamonds he's found. I'm going to post it on our Diamonds in Arkansas Facebook page. On Wednesday, June 19th, a Lake Charles, Louisiana guest registered a one-point white diamond, one one-hundredth of a carat. On Friday, June 21st, a Murfreesboro, Arkansas guest registered a three-point yellow diamond. Three hundred and forty-eight diamonds have been found so far this year, as of June twenty-first, when this was last updated. Thirty-six thousand four hundred and thirty-six diamonds have been found at this site since it became a state park uh, fifty-two years ago in nineteen seventy-two. But that's a lovely thirty-eight point brown. I know I said that, but that is a beautiful coffee color. Uh, admission is just $15 for ages 13 up. Uh, 6 to 12 is $7 and ages 5 and under is free to get in. So pretty good deal to get to hunt all day for $15 or less. And you get to keep all the diamonds you find. So it really is a pretty good deal and uh, come out and give it a try. Uh, people are finding diamonds here. 